What's going on guys, Jose here, taking a kayak out, see if we could do some flats fishing. Now today we're also trying out the microphone on the kayak. I know I've said in the past that I'm really skeptical about doing that, but we're gonna try it. Let me know down in the comments down below if the audio is a lot better and the video is a lot more enjoyable to watch. So with that said, let's get to it. Let's see if we catch some snook, reds, trout, maybe some pompano, you really never know. So let's get into it. All right. We are, gonna, <clears throat> we are gonna start the morning off throwing some top water. Come on, there's not a snook in there? No. No way, there's not a snook in there. Big trout just came right in front of me here. Come on. Dang, that was a solid 23 inch trout. Come on, I can't believe I haven't gotten a bite yet. I've seen snook, reds, trout, sheep's head now. I couldn't freaking buy, oh my God, look at all the mullet. Okay, I think we need to keep going. We need to keep, oh, I just had a bite there. Ty is just not getting it. Oh, look at all the sheep's head. Oh my god, dude, jumbo sheep. It's like a whole freaking school of sheep's heads coming through right there. Oh, dude, I really wish I could get one of those sheep's head to eat. Shrimp, I don't think it'll happen. Come on, you can't just throw trout, red sheep's head at me like this and not let me catch one. Come on. That just ain't right. That's just cruel. Cruel and unusual punishment. She's like, oh, it's a nice trout. Ooh, a solid trout. Ooh, yes, boy, oh. These fish are so slippery. Ooh, that's a solid trout. All right, first fish of the day. Despite a very difficult day, it's a solid, I don't know, probably... <clears throat> 18 or 18 19 inch trout not a bad fish after, at all oh he was hooked good hooked in the top of the mouth he was not coming out beautiful speckled sea trout nice beautiful fish look at the beautiful iridescent colors on these fish they are so pretty and they're so iridescent there we go popped right up hello mr mangrove and uh, let's send Mr. Trout here on his way. All right, guys, put in a new GoPro battery, release that trout, and uh, I took off the microphone. I felt like I just watched through the, the clip of, you know, landing the trout and whatnot, and um, I don't know, it kind of looked like the, the mic got in the way a little bit, which is why I was afraid of using the mic in the first place. I don't know. Leave a comment down below what you think. I literally just casted the fluke. I didn't even twitch it. I didn't even twitch it. And he just thumped it immediately. Oh, it's a stud trout. Stud trout. Stud trout. All right, I'm sitting down. I didn't even twitch the fluke. I swear to God, I just casted the fluke. I just straight up casted the fluke. I literally casted it, went to reel it, and I was like, what's this heavy? I thought I had snagged. I thought I had weeds, and then I, I start reeling, and then I feel weight, and I'm like, oh no, this is a fish. <gasps> there's a shark, there's a bonnethead shark trying to eat my trout. Oh no, he's going under the anchor rope. He's under the anchor rope. It's under the anchor rope. Oh my God, it's a jumbo trout. Maybe not 30, but upper 20s, upper 20s all day long. That's probably 26, 27 inch trout. Oh, he's hooked in a corner of the mouth. Come on. Come on. Oh, he ain't done yet. Oh yeah, he's hooked good. He's hooked. Yes. Oh no, it went from yes to oh no real quick. Yeah, boy, oh, look at that trout. 
That is a donkey speckled sea trout. That is for sure a personal best trout. That is without a doubt a personal best. Check out the size of this beautiful gator speckled sea trout. This is an absolute donkey of a speckled sea trout. This by far is my new personal best. This is probably pushing 26, 27 inches, something like that. I'm not sure what the official gator status size is. I think it's like 28, 29, I don't know. I mean, but I'll measure her. Actual beautiful giant of a speckled trout. So I've been keeping her in the water while I set up the GoPro right there. You know, it's really important, especially with sea trout. They're pretty frail, so I've heard. So, uh, you know, I've been really trying to keep her in the water and try to make sure she's okay, you know, while I've been setting up the GoPro. Because I want to show it off. This is my personal best sea trout. I'm pretty proud of it. But also want to take care of the fish, show some respect and whatnot to it. She's at zero. She's looking at 26 and a half. Kind of difficult to actually, yeah, 26 and a half. 26 is right there, so she's 26 and a half. All right, let's send her on her way. She's been dealing with me long enough. Let's send her on away and see if we catch another one. Well, that trout is uh, definitely the highlight of the day and maybe even the week. I really haven't been out fishing a whole lot lately, and that was definitely a... Ooh, that felt funny. Oh, I think my flukes just messed up. Definitely a very nice fish. I was actually really scared. Yeah, my flukes messed up. I need to put on a new one. I was scared because I saw a bonnet hide shark swimming around, a good-sized one, maybe like three and a half, four feet, which is pretty rare for bonnets. And um, I saw him swimming around. And I thought, oh man, is he really going to eat this trout? But fortunately, he decided not to attack the trout and we got it in. If you're wondering what I do with my soft plastics that, you know, break when I'm out in the kayak, I just put them in my backpack here. Oh, there's that shark. Can you see him? There's that bonnet head that I was telling you about. I thought he was going to eat my, uh, my trout. That's a good sized bonnet, dude. That's a solid three foot bonnet head. That's a very nice bonnet head. I used to catch them a lot down in the Keys growing up. I think we might have, an, we have another giant trout. Oh my God, he's right there. He just smoked it. The fluke right there. He, oh my God, that's another good trout. Another good trout. Come on, I loosened the drag up a little bit. Okay. That's another good one. All right, we have to sit down for this one. Sitting down, put the rod up. Oh yeah, this is a nice trout. Come on, baby. Whew, come on. I did not know sea trout could run like that. That was a snook run. Oh man. For those of you that have been following my channel for a while, which by the way, you should definitely drop a like on this video and subscribe because this is a banger of a video right now. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, he did not like that. Come on, we just gotta land him. I think this one's hooked pretty good. <laughs> but he's smoking me right now, man. Oh, wow, dude, look at that trout. Look at him, would you look at it? Oh, oh, that's a definitely a funny angle. Dude, these things fight so hard. What in the world? I'm used to catching like the 15, 18 inch ones that you kind of just reel them in with. God dang, these ones fight. Oh, okay, he's a little wrapped up there. Oh, he did not like that one, Chief. No, sir. Come on, big boy. Big boy. Come here. Come here. I can barely grab this one. Yep, that's stud trout number, number two. Woo. Two stud trout in one day. This one might be even bigger. Holy cow. Oh my God. This one just might be even bigger. 
Look at that. Donkey Trout number two. Ate the super fluke. You love to see it. You really do. Okay. Let's, you know, these are, oh, oh no, no, no. come here, come here, come here. You're up, scalliest individual. Oh, that hook's barely in. Oh my God, the hook just came out. Okay, the hook just came out. All right, guys, check this out once again. My God, this might even be bigger. I got you, I got you. Look at that. That is stud trout number two, probably about the same size, maybe even a bit bigger, but we will measure her just to be sure. And look at the size and thickness of that speckled sea trout. Man, oh man, what a day. And so I'm gonna set her down, make sure I have a solid grip on her. Oh. Make sure I have a solid grip on her. She ain't going nowhere. I really need, I really need a better way of, of having a measuring tape on the kayak than this, because this is, this is not the most effective okay her wow she's a little bit bigger actually right about the same exact size 26 and a half exact same freaking size 26 and a half let's i'm putting her back in the water and then i am going to grab her by the tail and then we are going to get a nice solid release now, something that I realized with the other trout is that these bigger trout sometimes take a little bit longer to revive, resuscitate. So I had to I had to pick the, the first one back up, you know, revive her again, and then she swam off strong the second time. So I'm gonna do here. You can see I'm just doing some forward and backwards with her, really trying to get any lactic acid buildup out. Let's see if she'll go on her own. There she goes, baby. It took a little while, it took almost seven minutes. But you know, really wanted to make sure that took her time. She swam off strong, she swam off on her own power. It's all good. And I think what I'm gonna do now, take a short break. The GoPro is pretty low on battery and uh, eat some lunch charge up the gopro and then we'll get back to it and see if we catch one more trout or even a red or a snook whatever all right guys a little bit of bad news unfortunately the uh all my um rechargeable batteries are dead so the gopro didn't charge i was eating my lunch so i have like 30 percent battery on the gopro this is a big snook this is a big freaking snook oh man get out of the mangroves Dude, he smoked the fluke. This is a Mondo snook. Crap. This is a big snook. Come on. I'm anchored. This is the problem. Oh, he's right. Up, he's way up in there. Oh, no. He's way up in there. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. He's what? I can feel my line. Oh, Come on. Alright, alright. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna have to go in after this snook. Put the drag super loose. I wanna go, we have a limited GoPro battery, 31%. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it off. This is a jumbo snook, this is a jumbo. And I'm gonna un, uh, take out the anchor and I'm gonna go over there and see if I can get him out and uh, undo this disaster. Cause he's still on there, he's on there good. He absolutely thumped the crap out of the fluke. So, you know, you guys know the drill, big snook. On light tackle, we got to go chase after him. Well, guys, unfortunately, I loosened the drag up, right? Because he was all up in the mangroves over there. I pulled the anchor, and I went to come after him, and uh, I pulled hook. Unfortunate, but I could tell it's a snook. Look, there's a little bit of chafeness and roughness up here, so he chafed this line up pretty good, but... Ooh, he ate it right there. Oh, that was so sick. Oh, he wanted it that time, baby. 
Oh, he wanted it that time. That's a good sized snook, actually. That's not bad. Oh, that was so sick. Actually, that might be slot. We'll have to measure him. Nope, 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 nope. Get out of the mangroves. Going on the snook sleigh ride. Oh, go oh, no. Come on, get me out of here. Going on the snook sleigh ride, baby. Oh, that was so sick. I hope you guys could have seen that. That was fun. <laughs> I, I saw him sitting right there. I threw the fluke. He didn't want it. And then he went under that branch, threw the fluke there. I saw him turn. And as soon as I twitched it, he was like alert. I twitched it again, boom, ate it. I love sight casting snook. That's one of my favorite things in the world. Let me pop that hook out of him. All right, guys, this snook, he was only 24 inches. I don't know why I thought he was bigger. Beautiful, beautiful snook. Look at that. Sitting with my schnookies. You ready to go, Mr. Schnookers? You ready to go? Take your time. All right, Mr. Schnookers, it's time for you to go home. Go back to your mangrove. Oh, let go. There you go. See you later, buddy. Come on, skedaddle. See ya. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments below if you notice a significant difference between using the microphone and not using the microphone, which we did basically from the two big trout onward. So just let me know what you think. Um, I definitely want to get like a smaller microphone, you know, so I can uh, use on the kayak. But um, I don't know, just, just trying to use what I have right now. It's a good microphone, but little little clunky little you know big and bulky but let me know down in the comments below what you think and i really hope you enjoyed this video today was a lot of fun for me we caught two new personal bests you know two personal best trout we're about the same size i'm calling them two pbs it was it was a blast i really needed a day like this i hadn't fished in a couple weeks really so leave a comment down below if if you really enjoyed the video Drop a big old thumbs up. That really helps the channel out. We're, you know, trying to grow the channel here and um, every like helps. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on the alert notifications so you can be alerted to future uploads, not just from here on the kayak in the middle of the mangroves, but also from the Bahamas series. So, and if you haven't checked those out, make sure you check those out. The link to the playlist should be coming up here and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>